Hello there. Welcome to class. I'm Miss Faust. Are you ready to learn some more parts of speech? You are? Great. Last class period, we did the noun, the pronoun, and the verb. Yes, today we will continue with the parts of speech. Remember I told you there are a total of um, eight, okay? And we're going to tackle two of them today. They are the descriptors. Yes, indeed. So we will tackle the adjective and the adverb. Now, some people feel these two parts of speech are a challenge. Well, if you pay attention, take good notes, it may not be so much of a challenge. But I can tell you right now, the adverb is a little bit more difficult than the adjectives. Are you ready to take notes? You ready? You got your notes out from last class period? Good, just add to it. You don't need separate sheets of paper. We've got three more after today. Yes, we're getting to the end of the parts of speech. Yes, indeed. Ready? Let's do this. Oh, you got your pen, pencil? Good, 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 good. Follow me, follow me. Here we go, as I said, parts of speech for today. Two, the adjective and the adverb. Okay, so what is the job of the adjective, you ask yourself? Well, here it is. It describes a noun and a pronoun. Please don't forget, we learned last time the verb is action. Your noun is what? Names person, place, thing, idea, activity. Yes, five categories. Yes, indeed. The pronoun does what? Instead of constantly saying Malibu Beach, Malibu Beach, we can say it, so it replaces the noun. Good, good, good job. So yes, it describes a noun or pronoun. Now there are some questions that you could ask yourself in case someone says, here's a sentence. I need you to tell me which one of these words is an adjective, which one is an adverb, which is a verb, and you, you're going, okay, great, 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 I got the verb. Now, adjective, adverb, oh, there are questions, and here are three that are key questions that you can ask yourself. How many, which one, which kind? If the word happens to answer any of these, you can say to yourself, I found the adjective. Here is a list of items of words that will always be adjectives. Please make sure that you copy this down. Everyone getting this? Good. So your numbers are definitely, how many? I have three footballs. Three is an adjective. Colors, yes, which one? Sometimes some people might say which kind? The blue kind, okay. Now, here are three words, a, an, not and, an, a-n, and t-h-e, the, that will always be adjectives. So anytime you have to label the words in a sentence according to the, their parts of speech, and you see a T-H-E, you can say to yourself immediately, adjective, and no second thoughts. Technically, what they are is the following. They are your articles. We have three in the English language. A and the. So that's what they are technically. If I should ever ask you, what are the three articles? You will name these three. But if I say to you, how do those three articles function? You will say what? They will function as adjectives. Okay, does that make sense? So please remember your three articles. Now what's so neat about them is A and an are your general. Okay, your T-H-E, the, is your specific. So let's say um, there are two oranges on a table and I say, please give me an orange. You look at the or two oranges and you just grab what? I tell you, that one over there or this one over here. But if I say, uh, please give me the orange and there's only one orange on the table, you will know that is that one, that very specific fruit that I want. Does that make sense? Good. Let's look at examples. We have two here. 
adjectives are fun to work with. They will help you with your essays. Okay, it is good to use adjectives. You don't just want to say sky. What about the sky? What color? How's it look? What shape? Okay, so think adjectives. It will help you to develop your paragraphs. So if you're sitting there going, I can't write more than this, ooh, go back and check and see. Do you, do you use adjectives? Are you just relying on one, the? Okay. So it will help to increase your paragraphs. In case you're going, I can only write short paragraphs, Ms. Fine. It's just, no. Details come in the form of adjectives. Okay, that's one form. All right, here are the examples. Uh, <clears throat> we'll start with the first one. I know, I'm sorry, it's a little bunched together here. With the first one's right here. Kyle saw a huge German Shepherd. Okay, now what is so neat about the adjective is that if you're working with a noun, okay, your adjectives tend to come before the noun. Whereas if you're working with a pronoun, they tend to follow the pronoun. But we'll get more into that, especially about the pronoun. So take a look here. Let's try to label. What is Kyle? What part of speech? Think. Noun, pronoun, verb, adjective. You've got your adjective now. It's a yes, a noun. What about saw? Shows action, so it's your verb. Is it doing or state of being? Yes, doing. But well, we don't need to know that, but it's good to know, you know, inside your head, minds here. Yes, it's state of being, but it, okay, verb. Now, let's get down to the nitty gritties. Now, right here, I labeled it as a noun. A shepherd, a shepherd is a noun, isn't it? Because it's a, it's, how should I say? Some people like to think of it as a thing. Others like to think of it as a people. They see animals as people under that category. Okay, so right away, you know, now. Okay, so we've got that labeled, so that's fine. So let's go through this. What is A? You're looking over here going, yes, good job. Adjective. What is it describing? What word? Remember, the definition describes a noun, pronoun. Yes, it describes the shepherd. So we go like here. So if you ever look in grammar books, folks, and you see a bunch of arrows going all over the place, it is saying this word is describing that. Occasionally you will see this word is describing that. That will happen. We'll see. We're not there yet. Okay. Huge. Whoops, we should put this more down to here. Huge. What part? Adjective, exactly. What is it describing? Shepherd. Yep. You could have 50 words describing one noun. Well, think about that paragraph. Okay. German. It is definitely an adjective. Yes. Describing? Shepherd. Good job. So we have three adjectives describing that noun. So do you understand what I'm saying? You have a noun. What came before were the adjectives. So the adjectives are describing that noun that comes after. Okay, you're not going to sit there and go, shepherd a huge German. That won't work. Okay, so yes, a huge German shepherd. The tall, skinny boy. The, describing boy. Tall, describing boy. Skinny, describing boy. Those three words are all what? Adjectives, exactly. Good job. Does that make sense? It does? Good. What about here? I've already labeled. She is exhausted. In other words, she's very tired. She is a pronoun. Is is your verb. But what part, um, category of that part of speech? It's your state of being. Very good. So then my question to you is, 
What is exhausted? Of all the parts of speech that we have, we are up to four. We'll hit five in a moment. It's your adjective, exactly. What is it describing? Go back to the definition. This guy's a noun or a pronoun. What is it describing? Yes, it is describing the pronoun she. Now, do you understand what I said? This word could describe over here? Exactly. Now, please note, does it say exhausted she? No, it does not. When you have a pronoun, your descriptor will come after the pronoun. So the pronoun is here. Your descriptor is over there. Okay, whereas if with the noun, your noun is here. Your descriptor is over this way. Does that, does, does that make sense? Also, I want you to notice, you, we've already said this is a state of being verb. Your pronouns tend to use your state of being verbs. Okay, so that could help you in case you're not sure if you're using an adjective or an adverb. Look at the verb. It could be was, she was exhausted. It could say they were, you know, we're talking plural, past and past tense. Okay, again, state of being, pronoun, state of being verb, adjective, following. Any questions? No? Okay, let's move on, let's move it on, moving it on to the adverb. Again, both of these can be a challenge, but if you pay attention, you take good notes, and you try to sort it out in your mind, you can make it easier for yourself. But this one might be a little bit of a challenge. Okay, a little, it's trickier. The thing with the adverbs is, quite often people will say, you can recognize an adjective. But when it comes to an adverb, I mean, there are words you're going, that's an adverb? I thought it was a noun. Crazy, isn't it? Okay. Now, I also want to know, oh, let's backtrack one thing. What if I wrote, what if I wrote this? She ate her, I want to ask you a challenging question here. She is a pronoun. Eight is a verb. Banana is a what? Now, what's her? Pronoun? Oh, technically, like this over here. These are technically articles, but they function as matches. Yeah, technically, you're right. Whose banana is it? Her. Guess what it is? I just wanted to put that out as a nice little trick question. Keep that in mind. It's amazing. You've got, you need to know the parts of speech, but you also need to realize how do they function in the sentences. So you need to check that out. Most people will go, oh, pronoun, I'm done, pronoun. Wrong, wrong, no, it's not functioning as a pronoun. It's describing the banana. Okay. So yes, it's crazy about the adverbs. They don't look like adverbs quite often. Okay, definition. It's a descriptor, as we said. Describes a verb, an adjective, oh my gosh, and another adverb. Okay, quite often it will, this is the heavy one, it will quite often describe the verb. So be aware of that. It answers these questions. I pulled three of the top questions. How, when, where? Okay, here's a listing of what will always be an adverb. Your L-Y words, let's talk about that in a sec. And, in a second. Not and very. Not, a, um, an example would be, I couldn't see the board. I couldn't see. Most of us would say couldn't is a verb. Partly correct. Could, verb, sees the other part of the verb, but break that up. Couldn't actually equals what? Could not. Not is. So when you have something like that, I couldn't see the board. Break it up, right? Could, not. Verb, adverb, verb. Okay. Your L-Y, be careful. In lower levels, teachers will say, hey guys, uh, <laughs> I got a clue for you. Anytime you see an L-Y, eh, it's an adverb. Yeah, not so. There's a fine print there. Words such as um, ugly, as in the ugly duckling, guess what? Ugly can never turn into an adverb. 
first of all, it already has an L-Y. We cannot make it a double. We can't say ugly Lee. I always like to use that exp example because it's so funny. Okay, ugly Lee, we, we, you just can't do that. So be very careful. There are exceptions to this rule where um, they're never going to be anything but adjectives. So be careful. Let's go through this example. It is a quick rabbit. It is your pronoun. Is is your state of being verb. A is what? I'm here listening. Adjective, good. Quick is what? Yes, adjective, good job. You're probably going, oh, I looked right there, Miss Files, I saw that. And rabbit is already labeled as an N. So you would have realized, wait a minute, they have to be adjectives in order to describe them. Okay, so A goes to rabbit, quick goes to rabbit. Their quick is an adjective, aha! She ran quickly. How did she run? Quickly! Okay, she, pronoun, ran your verb. It's labeled as an adverb, this sentence, because quickly is no longer an adjective. It has now the L-Y, doesn't it? Right here. It now has the L-Y, so it's an, exactly, adverb. How did she run? It's describing, ran, your verb. Do you understand how that works? You can use words such as beautiful, beautifully, happy, happily, words swift, swiftly, okay? More examples. Here's another one where you would never think these are adverbs. You wouldn't think it. Because you're looking at it and going, that's got to be a noun. Miss Files, no, you're wrong, Miss Files, that's a noun. No. Yes, it may be in a, a different instance, but not here. He went home today. I've labeled them for you. Okay, he's your pronoun. When is your verb, correct? Good job. Where did he go? Home. Guess what? It's an adverb. Yes. Describing what? The verb went. Let's label that. Your doing verb, isn't it? Exactly. When did he go? Today. Adverb. Now, do home and today look like adverbs? No, most of us would say they're nouns, technically, but not function-wise. Those are adverbs. Okay. Example for a very would be, uh, she ran very quickly. How quickly did she run? Very. That quickly would describe very. Okay. Do you have any questions about that? So adverbs a little, <laughs> a little bit more, but once, twice, practice with them. Oh, you've got it. Any questions at all regarding the adverb and adjective? If you've come up with any, you're going, oh, hey, well, let me think. Oh, I got one response. Oh, the lesson's over. Contact me. Okay? Here's your assignment. Please make sure you copy this down. Two parts. Number one, write two sentences. So a total of two sentences. Once one with three adjectives and one with two adverbs. So you have one sentence that has three adjectives and one sentence that has two adverbs. These sentences might be very long ones. In other words, more than, more than eight, ten words so that you can accomplish that goal. Okay. Again, look at my examples. Look at my examples. Or if you re-listen, re-watch, so to speak, the video, you might remember my other examples. She ran very quickly. Okay, very quickly. Okay, hint, hint. All right, so do we understand number one? Write two sentences, that's all you're doing. But one of them is with three adjectives, one's with two adverbs. Good job. And then I'd like you to answer this question. Which day of the week is your favorite? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Which is your favorite day? Okay. Any questions? Nope. All right. So this assignment is due today as soon as you've got it. 
send it on off to me today of course oh today when do we send it today what is today adverb good job good job till next time i wish you the best enjoy bye bye